not gonna lie i've been pretty lazy the past couple of weeks so this semester i'm supposed to be taking an intro to sociology class um another english class a political science class and a lifespan and development psychology class but my political science class is eight weeks long my plan was to get the book for my political science class and just like read through it and take notes and everything so that whenever the class does start which is in a week or so i can be a little bit ahead on the assignment so that i won't feel too overwhelmed when the semester actually does start and my pencil's at 23 percent so i'm just gonna close that in real quick i gotta push myself to work for at least an hour i'm gonna try door right now i'm gonna go to the store and try to find a wall organizer because i have an organizer on my desk but it takes up too much room and so i'll have my laptop open and then i get something else out like to write on and then i just feel like i'm too cramped on my desk so i want to get something that i can put on the wall so that I can take everything off my desk and just have more room on the actual surface of my desk. That among other things, I'm sure I'm gonna walk in here for what I actually need and then see a bunch of other stuff and wanna get that stuff too and just end up with way too much, but it is what it is. So yesterday all of our stuff got posted for our classes and I was like lightweight, like I'm just gonna put it all on my calendar, you know, get the syllabus and start filling out when things are due and I was getting a little bit overwhelmed because all my classes have like all the same due dates each week for stuff and like I don't know it's just stressing me out and so I did that for a little bit and then I went to sleep so I'm gonna give it another go today hopefully once I get this stuff to organize my desk a little bit better it'll just I don't know it'll give me a clear space to think and focus and I won't be as stressed out I'm gonna get some incense wall organizer Maybe another uh, like waste bin for my desk. I'm saying this stuff now because I did not make a list and I don't want to get to the store and forget. Okay, so it's a little bit later now and I'm gonna go ahead and try to take all of this stuff apart and take all this stuff off the walls and Put up the new stuff that i got and just see how everything comes together as you can see it's a little bit messy i do have some trail mix and things here that don't really need to be here but i just sort of been putting off straightening it up because i knew that i was going to reorganize my desk anyway so hopefully this will work out So this is what it ended up looking like. It looks very empty. I don't know, it'll take some getting used to, I guess. I've always had a bunch of stuff on this wall, so now having it all gone, it's just like, just seems kind of bland over here now, but I guess that's a good thing if this is gonna be the space where I expect to sit for hours and focus on schoolwork and stuff. The next thing I want to do is go through and plan out the next maybe two weeks because as I mentioned before I was trying to plan out all my schoolwork and stuff yesterday and I just got really overwhelmed and I just let it go so right now I'm gonna actually try to do it and get through it and get it over with so that this weekend and starting next week when classes actually start I can just get into doing the work and not have to worry about due dates and all that other stuff
here's a little bit of what i did the other day this is my like paper planner right now i'm in three classes i have my sociology class an english class and pol political science class and i went through here and each month on my monthly calendar i put what was due and for what class and i started to highlight things so that they kind of correspond with each class so like here's the next month this is october and i have some things that are due but i didn't finish this is where i stopped at and over here is my like calendar app which is you know connected to my laptop my phone my ipad or whatever and i just put in all the times that i'm like working and then in red i have the times that i just set aside for schoolwork there are some big gaps so like obviously i have a little bit of room to like maybe start a little bit later or work for a little bit longer like it's not definite i'm definitely not getting up at 8 45 to do it truthfully i'm probably not even getting up at nine but this is the plan i work in the morning then i want to try to do schoolwork at night and i give myself some room to rest um same as if i work at night I'll do my schoolwork in the morning and have some room in between there. And that's what I did. I didn't do any like deep planning for like what assignments I'm going to do when because I don't even know how these classes really work yet. So I just set aside a chunk of time. I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight. I might save it for tomorrow. But before Monday, I'm going to actually look into what assignments are due first and then be able to put it on the daily part of my calendar. So even though I have my month planned out, each week in my written calendar, I'll put what assignments I'm going to do and then I'll be able to keep up with it that way and cross off on stuff as I finish it before I get behind because I do have some self-paced classes and those will creep up on you if you don't plan ahead to give me assignments that 